Hello guys, welcome to another extra special video. Today I decided, you know, I used to make a lot of collection videos, and I'm probably going to update on my other video game collections and a few of my manga ones, but, or my manga collection, but I decided today, since I've never really shown I'm a, in my music collections, like I love music so much, I decided that I would, um, the first thing I would show my collection of is my cassette tapes. I collect CDs, uh, cassette tapes, vinyl, and eight track. Basically, the big, the big, the big four in all of physical media, except for like the really early stuff. But um, yeah. So this is where we're gonna start. I've always loved cassette collecting, or for a few years now. Because I really like that retro look and everything. I like the sound. So let's start off with a few of these ones that I have. I have a bigger shelf that I'll show you later. But I have these. These. These three. Um, like tiny holding cases. And two big ones that don't really need it. So let's start with the big ones. Here's the first one. This one is by an artist called Russell Hoke. It's called A Voice from the Lonesome Playground, an anthology. Um, this is a kind of out, it says right up here, like an outsider folk music from, it's an outsider folk, which means that like outsider music in general is some, if you know me, I love exper a lot of experimental music, so this is kind of in there, but outsider folk just refers to, outsider just refers to like, um, any musician that doesn't really have that much musical, like, training before, or even musical talent, and are usually have very bizarre sounding music, which is with this guy. I mean, his music is very hauntingly beautiful, but you can tell if you listen to it. Like, if you like Daniel Johnston, you'll probably like this stuff. It's really good. Here's the next thing. It's called um, Fountains by Sean McCain. This is another one from the same label as this, um, Round Bale Recordings. You can find it on Bandcamp if you want. Um, it says, a expanded edition of Sean McCain's ambient masterpiece. Yes, it's, this is an ambient album here. And it's another really great, I mean, all the ones that I have, I would consider great because I have them. But I really like this one as well just because, you know, I like the, the, the cover. It really, really kind of solidifies the music you're about to hear. I think if you like ambient music of a lot of different types, especially if you're more of a Brian Eno, you know, kind of more calm, not like Aphex, Aphex Twin or anything, going more the sort of the sides of Brian Eno and the Orb, you'll probably like this one a lot. So let's get on to these other ones. The next one we have is Gateway. This is a improvisation jazz album with Jason Filer and Tim Gick. There, it's it's a I don't know them separately before I got this release, but it's a I listened to it. It's a jazz. It's summed up sounds in progress. All it is, it's like a where they compiled and reversed and chopped up samples of like different things in nature, like cracking twigs and stuff, while also playing saxophones on top, and lots of other electronic instruments. It's a very weird album. It's like you're kind of like what I would imagine space, like, this is like what space would probably feel like. Just crazy. Here's the next one. This is a classic. It's Don't Slander Me by Rocky Erickson. If you don't know anything about Rocky Erickson, um, he was part of, a, in the 1960s, a very, I mean, not a lot of people like that are normies, I guess, would know about him, but yeah, it was the 13th Floor Elevators. Their most biggest hit was, um, um, you know, uh, You're Gonna Miss Me, but, uh, from 1966, but, like, 20 years later, like, um, he just, he made this album. I think he made a few albums, like two albums before this. Um, Thirteen Four Elevators like stopped playing in like nineteen seventy two, I think nineteen seventy three, kind of a little bit after the psychedelic rock movement had been over. 
the first, I mean. Um, so this is a little more like on the rock, well, rocky, but rock, blues, a little bit of metal, I guess, a lot of a thumb soul. It's a really great album. You should really listen to it. Here's the next one. Um, I had, I also really like collecting tapes that are very, like, you know, they are what you, they're kind of weird in the sense that, like, they're more like novelty ones, like the ones that are talking and stuff. So this one's called M Man, sorry if my camera is so fuzzy, Man Heim Steamroller Christmas by Ch Chip Davis. And when I listen to it, it's basically a, like, it kind of is like an, eight, you know, an 80s ballad. A lot of them sound like those 80s ballads with music, like electric piano and stuff, but without the singing. Or I'm not sure if there's a lot of singing. I've only listened to a little bit of this tape. But yeah, it's definitely, and also it's kind of old because it does a lot of out of tuning. So maybe my copy is a little different, but that's what I like about it. But yeah. It's it's a good album. I don't know where you can really find it. I'm sure this is like a few, just one of a few co ones I have. I mean, there could be more, but here's the next one. It's just the Hollies looking back. I think this is the greatest hits, but I'm not sure. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's an it's a yeah 1972. If you can't 1972, 1973, 1974, 1985. 19, copyright 1975, so I think this came out in, like, the late 80s, early 90s. Here's the next one. Ooh, this is another one of those weird ones. This one's called Self-Confidence -Con Potential Unlimited. It's, like, some type of, like, relaxation tape. It's definitely a very... It's another, I guess, ambient album, so talking. It's very weird. Um, not usually something I would pick up, but... I mean, I like picking up odd collectibles. Speaking of odd collectibles, <laughs> this is a um, a cassette from Ford, of all things. Oh no, Chevrolet. What am I saying? Chevrolet um, that teaches you how to how to fix a pickup truck. With and there's all this like '80s, early '90s kind of infomercial music in the background. This kind of cheerful stuff while this lady in the sky tell you how to fix it. It it is what it is. I mean, it, it, if you're thinking this is gonna be really weird, yeah, I mean you're kind of out. But it's it's just a strange. It's weird to me that like back then people used tapes for also stuff that like wasn't necessarily I guess considered music. So yeah. Here's the next one. This was released a few years ago. This is, um... Letters to... To Friends of the Late... Dario Mercy By Matthew Revert. This is kind of like a spoken word... Spoken word, um... Sa experimental sampling... S s sound... Sound field recording album. It's a, it's a definitely an interesting listen. It's, it, it's good. I would... Maybe not for everybody, but it's good. Here's, um... Um, Who's Z Zoom and Who by A A A Aretha Franklin. Um, I haven't listened to this yet. Most of these I haven't, actually, but it's a good album. I'm sure it is. Um, oh, the classic Whitney by Whitney Houston. I mean... What can already be said? I mean, it's like one of the most famous 80s albums of like all time. It has the 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 hit "I'm Gonna Dance with Somebody." So yeah, it's definitely a great album. Ooh, another classic, ACDC "Back in Black," which I actually got for Record Store Day, new. It's a great album. You should definitely listen to it if you haven't. Um, a Pointer Sisters album called Contact. This is where I'm going to stop talking as much about the albums just to kind of go through them. Um, then I've got Pet Ben, uh, Get Nervous by, uh, Pet Benatar. Um, Solid by Ashford and Simpson. So, 
followed by Ashford and Simpson. And um, uh, and Kilroy was here by Styx. Another, I guess you could say, classic, even if it is kind of cringeworthy. Um, so, uh, let's keep on going. Here's another one from the Astro Spirits, um, releases. It's, um, Zoning by Nick Fraser, Chris Davis, and Tony Nalibai, with Ingrid Landbrock and Lina Allerma Allermano. Um, it's a, yeah, it's another free jazz experimental album that was put out a few years ago. Um, D, an, an album by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the front and the Fresh Prince. It's called I'm the Rapper, He's the DJ. Um, or maybe I'm the DJ, He's the Rapper. Okay, whatever. But, um, yeah, it's a, so yeah, it's a, it, it, it's good. I would say it's good. Um, here's one by Prince, Prince and the NPG. Um. I'm not necessarily the biggest Prince fan. I do like a few of his albums, but I still got this just because. I mean, oh, a class. I have a few singles as well, including this next one. Ah, I can't get the tape back in. It's a Love Shack cassette single by the B52s. Got Love Shack and Channel Z. And I love the B52s. I mean, this is one of my lesser favorite songs by them, but I still like it. I just heard it way too much. <clears throat> Here's an another an album by Tone Loke, who I'm gonna have a single a single tape later on called Cold Hand Lock, I think. And yeah, it's a, you know it's if you wanna one of his bigger hits was Funky Cold Medina, so you probably know that one more. Um, there's the rhythmic with Be Yourself Tonight. <clears throat> Um, there's an Elena Smart, the Elena Morissetti album, Jagged Little Pill, you know, the one with the classic, uh, the two classics, um, Ir Ironic and You Oughta Know, which I both like a lot, um, <clears throat> even though they're not necessarily grunge, they're still good. Ah, uh, another one of these weird albums, it's How to Talk Minnesota, <laughs> a simple audio guide, um, it's it's a weird album, definitely odd. I mean, it's not necessarily an album even. It's just ah, teaching you how to talk Minnesotan. I mean, okay, I guess. I, I don't know why we, there needs to be that. But um, here's the next one. It's if I can the best of sweet. You know, the band that does Fox on the Run and stuff like that. So yes, that's this album. Um, 20 Greatest Hits by The Platters. Um, the first, the Awesome Mix Volume 2 from Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. Uh, Pee Wee, Fred, and, uh, Method, uh, the J.B. Horns. JB Horns. I think this is a funk album. Maybe it's hip hop. I think it must. It might be funk though. It just looks very retro. I mean, it. Could, then again, it could be a hip hop album. Um, this one is another I guess. It's more of a world album. It's called Music of the Andes, like Andy Mountains, and um, yeah, it's 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 a good album for like sampling and stuff. But I wouldn't like necessarily listen to it all through. It's a good album if you like some type of stuff. Um, another Astral Spirits album, uh, which is The Master Speaks Thrice by Kam Kamishi Trio. Another, Yeah, it's another free jazz album. I, it's pretty good. And I think this is a hip-hop album. It's 2D Extreme... And the album's called From One Extreme to Another. It must be either a hip-hop or an R&B album. I have a few of these types of albums because I, I like the interesting covers. And the music can be pretty good as well.
Now let's go over to this last bin before we get to the big, big tapes over there. Um, first off, we have another one from Astro Spirits, a bigger one because it's two tapes called Chunks of Monochrome Rainbows by Terror Sco Oh no, I already went through these. What am I saying? Silly me. Okay. I was gonna go in a loop. Um, let's go over to the other um, side of where we have this big thing with like 100 tapes. So we start off with Al or Gospel Soul by Al Green. Um, uh, the Take It by the Wallets. If I can get it. Let's Barbecue by Riff Raff. I'll Be Your Baby Tonight by Whitney Houston. Um, like, you know, Madonna, like a virgin. Um, this, I'm just going to show them. Uh, gonna Make You Sweat by CNC Mu Music Factory. Um, Saturday Night Fever original mu movie soundtrack. Freeze Frame by J the J. Giles Band. A very damaged one at that. It's very lo-fi, like very lo-fi. It's good for sampling, though. Paul's The Classic. Paul's Boutique by Beastie Boys. Um, third we Oh, what does that say? I can't... Idiot Drive by Third Wheel, Stick It by Agit Pop, the original soundtrack to Footloose. Uh, what is this? Escape by Journey. Uh, I think this is just Peter Fram. It's just called Peter Frampton. Oh no, I'm in You by Peter Frampton. It's, uh, like a here's another one that's like a compilation called NFL Jams. Uh, Emergency by Cool and the Gang. The Music Band by War. Oh no. Did I already? I, ha I hadn't gone through those. Uh, um, the Edge of Hell, Heaven by Wham. Uh, Do Something. It's like a another compilation album. Yeah, it's alternative rock. Which doesn't really mean anything nowadays. But I think a Tony Braxton album. I can't. I don't know what it's called. The Gat, um, Jammin' by the Gat Band. Another 80s, or another compilation called Hottest of the 80s. Entertainment by Van Morrison. Oh, the, the, um, uh, Tomato by Yes. Original 50s Hits Volume 2. I don't have Volume 1 because I don't, I just looked and found that somewhere. Um, Endless Summer by the Beach Boys. Turn it up. Compilation. This is how we do it by Montel Jack. Um, Montel Jordan. What is this one? Because I can't really see it. Um. Oh, what's your name by Leonard Skinner? Um. Private Anarchy by Private Anarchy. Made in USA by the Beach Boys. Still cruising by the Beach Boys. Dangerous by Michael Jackson. Spice of Life by Jazzy Reed. Red, I don't know. Which is another R&B album. Rock Anthems. Another one of this miscellaneous stuff, which is Bloopers, Radio's Most Famous. Radio's Most Famous Slips of the Tongue. Um, Sounds of the 70s, 1970. Hard or Smooth by Rex in Effect. The Sound of Music soundtrack. Vacation by the Go-Go's, Forever Your Girl by Paul, Paula Abdul, Mistaken Identity by Don Summer, Play the Hits by The Ventures, Greatest Hits by The Moody Blues, E Pluribus Funk by Grand Funk Railroad, Hootie Mac by Belle Biv DeVoe, Awesome Mix of Volume 1, The Beatles 1962-1966, uh, all Time Christmas Favorites, Volume 1, The Best of Village People, uh, The Final Countdown by Europe, oh, and here's the thing I was talking about, Funky Cold Medina by Tone Loke, um, 
It's All The Way Live with something, some other one by Coolio. <laughs> A Kentucky Fried Chicken presents the Motown Showcase cassette. So I didn't even know this exists. You Are Not Alone single by Michael Jackson. The Fly single by U2. Um, uh, another U2 single, which is one. Another U2 single. I'm not really a U2 fan, but I just decided to pick these up because they were cheap. Even better than The Real Thing. Little Village by Little Village. Shake, shake It Up by The Cars. And... Some Girls by the Rolling Stones. Um, the Best of Michael Jackson by Michael Jackson, an older album. Actually, I think it's like from the 70s, so it doesn't have all the big hits. So by Peter Gabriel. Um, sorry. Um, Anything Goes by CNC Music Factory. Um, Jimi Hendrix, I think Greatest Hits. Merry Christmas by Mordecai Carey. I think it's like a, this one's like a greatest hits of just surf rock song. So it's called Surfing USA. Best of Mountain. Lap Music Swamp by Randy Lee Sutherland. Partly Zombish. This is where it gets weirder. Winter Wind by Filth. Um, Falling to Pieces Single by Faith No More. I can't even read what that says. Uh, this is where it gets a little harder to read, Tar Baby, uh, lots of stuff. So, yeah. Oh, Back Colors, uh, another Tom Petty album. The Fifth Dimension. Um, don't really know what this is at the bottom, but yeah, those are all my tapes. It's really hard to read all of them because since some of them don't even have the text on the outer side... So yeah, those are all my tapes. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my tape cassette tape collection. See you next time.